You're listening to Brian Sussman on Hot Talk 560 KSFO. Sherry E., our producer, has done a wonderful job putting together today's Idiot Reel. I know it's a Thursday, but we're doing it anyway, even though it's usually a Friday tradition. These, of course, are the politicians, celebrities, elites, and whack jobs who say things that would make a rational person bury themselves in a bottle of rum. First, we start with Congressman Barney Frank saying heirs don't deserve or earn anything. Then Congresswoman Jan Schakowsky saying, you know, these tax breaks, yeah, these are Paris Hilton tax breaks. Then Nina Totenberg from NPR, she's embarrassed because she went to a <clears throat> Christmas party. Eleanor Clift, columnist, liberal, Tea Partiers, she say, will be ineffective in the next Congress. Dianne Feinstein saying the START Treaty, well, it may not be the best treaty, but it's better than no treaty. Diane Sawyer questions our intelligence director about a British terrorism event on Monday that he was clueless about. And Janet Napolitano, hey, she's working 24-7, 364, often imitated, <laughs> never duplicated. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the Idiot Reel. Heirs who now inherit, they haven't done this on their own, they haven't worked hard. That's a pure gift to someone who was lucky enough to be related to someone or very friendly with someone who's lending the money. Our nation has to, for the sake of the economy and for the sake of a real democracy, not go further in the direction of a banana republic where you've got some rich families that really benefit. And that's what we do with the estate tax, especially the, uh, the proposal to say that we'll exempt five to ten million uh, dollars and then um, give a, a lower tax rate for estate taxes. We're, this is a Paris Hilton uh, tax break. It is unfortunate we were put in the position where the Republicans made it clear they were ready to let everything fall unless they got these tax cuts. They're for two years. They're for two years. And we're coming back and going at it again. We have a progressive income tax, the argument being that the more you make, the higher percentage you can afford to give while still keeping it. And the question is from that you say they're going to create the jobs. Let me repeat. Someone's making $500,000 a year. I do not think that an additional $7,500 in taxes when they're making half a million dollars a year is going to have any effect on their spending pattern. The one target for us in two years is no longer extending the upper income tax credit for millionaires and billionaires and scaling back what we had to do to get the compromise, the estate tax for the very wealthy. And I was at a, you forgive the expression, a Christmas party at the Department of Justice and people were actually really worried about this. Gentlemen, before we proceed, I just got one of those flash news flashes <laughs> that I have to report immediately upon getting it. Congresswoman Michelle Bachman of Minnesota has been named to the Intelligence Committee. <laughs> what, what, what genius, Howard, <laughs> thought this was the perfect match? Uh, I, I, I have no comeback. I just think <laughs> that, that speaks for itself. It really does. The Tea Party Caucus in the House has 43 members. They've elected 41 new members, and they're all going to get their hearts broken as they've come up against all the forces in Washington, the same forces that Barack Obama came up against. And as you know, in April, we announced that we were reviewing our position on the U.N. Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples. And today I can announce that the United States is lending its support to this declaration. The aspirations it affirms, including the respect for the institutions and rich cultures of Native peoples, are one we must always seek to fulfill. God has truly blessed America with the service of our LBDTG. Um, uh, <laughs> Let me say it, gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, members of the armed services. So why don't we all sing God Bless America, okay? Who's ready to start? We are here to affirm a core American principle that anyone who wishes to serve, secure, and defend this country should be welcomed, judged by their abilities, and honored for their sacrifice. From an intelligence perspective, we are much better off with the treaty than without the treaty. Without the treaty, we have nothing. Those that are, uh, are our implementers of, uh, of the missile policy, missile defense policy, believe uh, strongly that the language does in no way uh, inhibit any of our actions. London, how serious is it? Any implication that it was coming here? Any of the things that they have seen were coming here?
start the clock. <laughs> The, arre the arrest of the uh, 12 the individuals of the 12. Uh, by the British this morning. Yes. Uh, this oh. is something that the British informed us about early this morning oh. as it was taking place. Later in the interview, I came back to the director. Did he really not know? I was a little surprised you didn't know about London, Director Clapper. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't. You know, what I say to the American people is that we are... Uh, and thousands of people are working 24-7, 364 days a year to keep the American people safe. Yeah. All right. Do you realize Ahmed and Mohammed and all these other schmoes are in caves in the Middle East right now? <laughs> they're on their computers and they're trying to figure out and research. She's busy 24-7, 364. Ooh. What is the one day <laughs> that they are not working? Is it her birthday? Is it what, uh, what day would it be? <laughs> These people are absolutely astoundingly cuckoo. Boy. Okay, we're shifting gears right now. It's holiday time. We just want to say to all of you, uh, happy holidays. We have the Christmas holiday. We're, of course, winding up uh, one of the great holidays of mankind, and that would be Hanukkah. Yep. We've got... Uh, the New Year's coming up, and we pray it is a blessed one for each and every one of you. O.V., always a pleasure, my friend. Always a pleasure with you, my friend. Richard, thank you. God bless you all, KSFO.